If aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. Do we know if we're the only ones out here? This is undoubtedly among the most key questions we face today. What makes you think that other intelligent species in our galaxy wouldn't create technologies like a radio which might reveal their existence? Since Frank Drake's 1960 investigation of radio transmissions from nearby stars, researchers have been trying to find a solution. Unfortunately, no sentient life from another planet has been found, but scientists are continuously looking. Will we ever be able to find extraterrestrial life? Are the observations of scientists correct? Stay with us till the end of the video to know. The unprecedented fading of a star 1300 light years distant in the constellation Cygnus has scientists and fans of extraterrestrial life abuzz. This isn't the first instance of KIC 8462852, also known as Tabby's star, has diminished in brightness, leading some scientists to speculate that an advanced alien society's megastructures are obscuring its light. And, according to fresh evidence from many telescopes, it's back at it. According to scientist Jason Wright of Penn State University and State College, this is the first clear dip we have seen since 2013 and the first we have ever caught in real time. By deploying more telescopes, scientists may be able to collect enough information to identify the problem's nature. According to astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University, this could be the first of several dips about to come. Many observers will be closely watching. There will be a large number of people keeping tabs. Between 2011 and 2013, the NASA Kepler Observatory detected periodic dips in the brightness of KIC 8462852. As observed by Kepler, Tabby's star dimming was significantly more irregular than a regular planetary passage which was sent to monitor the stellar dimmings created when an exoplanet crosses ahead of its star. Sometimes its brightness would dip by as much as 20%, making it even more intense. Something far larger and fewer rounds than a planet had just passed through our solar system. The researchers who made the scientific breakthrough, an astrophysicist at Yale University, offered several plausible cases for the star's odd behavior, Along with that, it was variable, dust clouds or dusty meteoroids enveloped it, or that planets in its vicinity had made contact or were still beginning to form. However, KIC 8462852 gained media attention because Wright and co-workers indicated it would be an excellent place to look for signs of a massive artificial structure constructed by extraterrestrial life. However, additional investigations failed to uncover the infrared light predicted for such an enormous object so near to its star. However, they did not provide definitive evidence for or against other hypotheses. Astronomers had to keep a close eye on the star and take spectra, or spectrum measurements, to determine how the star's light was being dispersed as it dimmed. They were required to wait for that. Since Kepler's last observations of the area around Tabby's star in 2013, Boyajian and her crew have been using a combination of amateur stargazers and, more lately, the privately managed Las Cumbres Observatory, which consists of 18 humanoid telescopes located in six different locations around the world to monitor KIC 8462852. On April 24, 2017, the Fairborn Observatory at Tennessee State University in southern Arizona detected the first trace of the star's sudden dimming. By the end of the week, scientists were confident that it had dropped to a new minimum. On May 19th and 20th, its brilliance was 3% below average, although it has begun to recover. According to Kipping, it looks like the dip has mostly ended, but in the Kepler data we saw an episode of multiple dips clustered together over the span of a few weeks. Recent dimming trends are similar to those discovered by Kepler, lending credence to the theory that the same object is continually crossing ahead of the star. The viewers are geared up for more shifts. Boyajian at Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge says there's been an enormously positive response from the community, with individuals pausing other work to take reflections on KIC 8462852. As the star dimmed, researchers from a dozen observatories took spectra of it. So, what exactly is going on in the star's vicinity? As Boyajian points out, 
Combining the various spectra into a unified picture across wavelengths could take some time. More research is needed to develop a physical explanation for what's happening. Still, the action has started. An examination by over 200 scientists indicated that the strange dimming of star KIC 8462852 hadn't been caused by an extraterrestrial megastructure, as if the polarizing Star Wars film wasn't adequate news for Christmas 2018. According to the available data, the star is occasionally obscured by a massive dust cloud. The cloud likely originated from the combination of two comets or the fragmentation of a single comet. The star could be experiencing an interior convulsion, something that has never been seen by astronomers before. Star KIC 8462852, located about 1500 light years from Earth, made news in October 2015 when information from NASA's Kepler Space Observatory revealed that it was fading by massive amounts for no apparent reason. The star is unusual since its luminosity shrunk by 20% and then 15%. The light from the star might have been obstructed by only approximately 1% even if a massive planet had passed in front of it. It would have to be close to half the size of the star to hide that much light. As a result of this discovery, some scientists began to speculate in hushed tones that such a signal might be generated by a massive alien megastructure passing in front of the star. So far, Earth is home to the only known form of life in the universe. However, humans have pondered the question of extraterrestrial life since the dawn of civilization. Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, was founded in 1984 by American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson. The nonprofit organization's main goal was to monitor interstellar radio transmissions. The 42 radio telescopes, which make up the one of a kind Allen Telescope Array inside the Cascade Mountains of California, are optimized for detecting radio signals because they are less likely to be scattered or absorbed than other forms of radiation, allowing them to travel across vast distances. However, no confirmed alien signal has indeed been obtained in 30 years. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has been effectively launched into space and will now contribute to the search. The largest mirror and most sensitive detectors will allow the world's most powerful telescope, which will float around a million miles from Earth, to study several previously undiscovered planets orbiting faraway stars. Only the planets in our solar system were known 20 years ago. However, since then, Scientists have discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets or planets that orbit stars other than ours. There may be trillions of exoplanets according to NASA's calculations. Extraterrestrial plant life may be the first evidence of life outside Earth's solar system. On its route to Jupiter, Galileo directed its instruments back to Earth, where they detected a clear sign of plant life. It picks up on the biosignature of plants, called the Red Vegetation Edge, or VRE a combination of red and infrared light. The VRE of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zone orbiting stars will be measured by the James Webb Space Telescope. The chemical makeup of exoplanet atmospheres may contain crucial clues to the existence of life. The James Webb may be able to detect an exoplanet's atmosphere as it crosses in front of its star. Once the missing wavelengths have been identified, spectroscopy can be used to reconstruct the whole spectrum of light. Atmospheric atoms and molecules produce a unique imprint that the James Webb can detect because they absorb specific wavelengths. That way we can learn about the atmosphere's makeup and perhaps infer the existence of life. Life is likely to exist on Earth-sized planets if similar atmospheres are discovered. These atmospheres would primarily consist of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Finding substances that aren't found in nature might be a way to tell if a civilization has developed technology. For example, chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, were produced for use in refrigeration and cleaning materials, and if aliens looked at Earth's atmosphere from a distance, they would likely see these substances. Jacob Hock Misra of Seattle's Blue Marble Space Institute has hypothesized that the presence of CFCs in the atmospheres of exoplanets would be definitive proof of intelligent life. We hope you enjoyed this buzzing video. Now please hit the subscribe button and make the notification bell zooming. But of course, you're free to accept or refuse.